Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history and language behind the words we use every day. If language and history are subjects you're interested in, please consider subscribing so you never miss a word. My name is Benjamin Lewis. Today, we're going to look at the word propaganda. Noun. Information distributed with the intended purpose of creating widespread agreement with a particular ideology. History and Etymology In the early 1600s, Pope Gregory XV was noticing that Protestant countries were expanding and creating colonies around the world. With the spread of Protestantism, the Catholic Church was starting to feel the pressure, and they needed to spread their church. That's when they founded an organization called Sacra Congregatio de Propaganda Fide, or in English, Congregation for Propagating the Faith. Propagating or propaganda, in the sense used in the name of this organization, meant to spread. It comes from two roots. The first is pro, meaning forth, as in to come forth, and the second, peg, meaning to fasten or connect. Peg is also the source of the word pact, meaning to bring into agreement. Even before its current definition, it had components that meant spreading agreement. It wasn't until the 1700s that the word became associated with secular information campaigns, and not until the mid-19th century that it gained its negative connotation that it currently has. Prescription and Commentary Propaganda is older than history. As long as people have been talking, they've been trying to convince others to see things their way. In the modern day, the word propaganda mainly refers to large organizations, corporations, governments, trying to control people's behavior through control of information. I think one important part of propaganda is overlooked when people throw the word around, and that is that it only works when contradictory information is suppressed. A quote from historian Robert Enzor explains that Hitler puts no limit on what can be done with propaganda. People will believe anything, provided they are told it often enough and emphatically enough, and that contradictors are either silenced or smothered in calumny. And here's a... uh, Sneak preview of the next vocabulary word. Columny is a fancy way of saying a false statement that maliciously is used to injure another person's reputation. I'll cover that later. This is the other half of propaganda. The silencing of smaller and contradictory voices is what makes propaganda work. If you're interested in censorship, I'll leave a link to my video on the word censorship and even the word purge in the description below. And with what's been going on recently with the Vox apocalypse, the demonetization of Steven Crowder, and these history channels that have been taken down or demonetized or banned or whatever, it's more important than ever to keep an eye out for propaganda and call it out when you see it. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and share the video with a friend who you think might find it interesting. Make sure you subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube, and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and the big corporate social media giants. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support my channel or this project, you can find links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet in the description below as well. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.